Uh -huh. So I think I got born again two or three months after that, after that incident. Uh, went to church, joined the choir. You know, got this scholarship to come to Berkeley. I think about a year, no, about two years after that. Then I'm I'm in Berkeley in International House, and I remember this incident that I had two years before, and I began saying I was feeling really dry then here in Berkeley. I'm a new grad student. Academic work is overwhelming. I have no friends around me. Um, you know, I'm two days away from home, <laughs> flight. So I began telling Lord, you know, I want, I want to feel you. I, I, I don't want to just read and, and hear people preach to me. I want to, I want to experience you because I've had that experience even before I got born again. So I knew it was real. And he began allowing me to experience him. You know, the winds. I began feeling winds of the Holy Spirit in my room. Every time I'm worshiping, strong sometimes, you know, just winds on my face. Even when I'm eating, sometimes I just feel this as if somebody is blowing in my face. Then I, I would worship, I would worship. Then I began hearing the voice of Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. and I began writing down things. And I began saying, Holy Spirit, I'm, I'm, going, to, I'm, going, to, I'm going to assume you're the one speaking to me. Every time I ask the Father, like, Lord, um, speak to me. After worship, I just go quiet. Just speak to me, turn the radio off. And then I hear in my spirit, so I write it down. And then he would confirm these things. And what kind of things did you hear? For example, um, before, I, before I propose to my wife, um, I was going to go home in the summer for, for research back home after, after the first year. Uh, this happened actually when I was home, worshipping at home. So I'm worshipping and I keep quiet. You know, then I'm like, Lord, speak to me. So he speaks and he says, your girlfriend is around the corner. Um, no, your, your, your girlfriend is around the corner. Girlfriend. 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 You're going to get married soon. Uh, she, she, she's born again, she worships me, she loves me, she, she serves me. So I write these things down, you know, I'm, of course I'm shocked. Okay, so I write the things so down. So did you hear, was it thoughts or was it clear words? It was, it was thoughts, but I knew it was coming from here. I, 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 you just know, I can't explain, you just know. When there are times that I've had my own thoughts and I've doubted those. But when it is the Lord, you just, I, I just know, I, you know, there's no doubt. Mm -hmm. So I, in the morning, I write, she was in UK, I write her an email, because she was my close friend then, my best friend. So I write and tell her, look, Irene, uh, I was worshiping, and the Lord said these things. So, so apparently, I'm going to be married soon, da, da, da. You know, now, of course, six months later, we are married. You know? <laughs> um, so some things like this, you know, like scholarship money, if I'm going to, if I'm going to go home, God speaks and says, Alan, you're going to get that money, don't worry, bam, two days later I have the money, or, or, you know, I don't know, so many things, like scripture verses, I'm reading, I'm praying, and then he says, read this scripture, and I read the scripture, and he's talking about my last week, things I've been worried about, I'm thinking about, this scripture just speaks about the last week, mm -hmm. it can't be coincidence, you know, so I began doing that, then I stopped. I know what happened. I think I had something that was wrong and it discouraged me and I, I stopped practicing hearing the praise, that voice of the Lord. And then we went home, got married. Then when we came back, we both just began feeling hungry. Before we got married, we had people pray for us. God confirmed so many times through friends that we were going to get married. People would see Irene, you know, in a gown. She didn't, have, she didn't even told them that I'm going to get married. Then they would come up and tell, tell her, you know what, Irene? I dreamt and I saw you in a gown. That you would tell them actually I'm you know I'm engaged. You know, things like those. So many of those things. So when we were going to get when we we're going to get married, people prayed and everyone kept saying, you know, this marriage is of the Lord and God is God is going to move in your life, God is going to move in your marriage, da da da. But we had a bit of um, challenges along the way. But organizing weddings is a tough thing. You know. so busy, we have only so short a time and we have to do so many things. So when we came here, we just got hungry. Like, Lord, now that we are here and you've done this, just invade our home. Just, just, just come in, mess us up, just turn everything around. And, you know, we don't want to live life without you. you know, we know there is more. We know there is, we know there is your tangible self. We know there is the knowledge Jesus up here. Yes. We know he's in here. Mm -hmm. But how many times do we feel him? Mm -hmm. And he's already in here. Mm -hmm. So I, kept, I would read the word. The word says, uh, 
I am no longer alive, but Christ lives in me by faith. So Christ is in, in me. And if Christ is love, Christ is all these things. And I don't feel these things, so I'm asking the Lord, so your word says this, and I'm not feeling this, so something is missing here. So things like those, I just become, just become being hungry. Yielding to Holy Spirit, telling him, Look, bring these things to pass in my life. You know, and bring me the reality of Christ, because he's already in me. It's not that I'm going to go and get born again now, he's already so. Has God spoken to you about what he wants you to do? Several times. Life? Huh? <laughs> Several times. Um, what did you hear? Um, have a healing gift. I've had that. Um, have a television ministry. Well, people will pray and, and prophesy. Television ministry, um, evangelism. Um, one, the first prophecy I heard about me was this girl came and prayed, and then she said, "You have a very ministry of the heart." And I was a baby Christian then. I'm, I'm still growing, but I didn't know a thing about ministry then. Mm -hmm. So I was saying, "Washing." I mean, there are several things about, um, but all, all, in, all in the line of ministry. And I've told the Lord a long time ago, I've told the Lord, you know what, I, if my life is going to be a life without you, I don't want that life. Because um, he has put this desire in me, he has put this desire, I know it. So uh, he has, he's going to fulfill that desire and you know, bath whatever he gave me. I think what I want to share is um, God is so good. Like Alan told you, um, when I was in the UK, I was fellowshipping with big church, you know, not very big, but I'm talking about a 500, 700 congregation. You know, you, I had settled in, I, I gave my life to Christ in this church, when I was with this church. So I had literally grown up as a Christian in this church, so you feel like a child in a home. You're there, you're with, you know, your spiritual parents and everyone around you, and it was really good. So my first worry was, I knew Alan was strong in the Lord, but my, my worry was, will I be able to find such a church in, um, in California? Because I was concerned about our spiritual growth. And of course, everything takes place. I leave the UK, we go for the wedding in Uganda, we come to California. And God is amazing, you know, because now when we sit in the house, like my husband was explaining that there's a hunger, I sit in the house and just enjoy the Bible. You know, you can call it whatever you call it. But I feel like it's a time where God has actually, I'm not worried, you know, I'm, I'm not feeling like, oh my God, why did I, you know, I'm missing so much over there. I feel like this is a new season. That is the feeling in me. This is a new season, a season of actually God sitting me down and teaching me, you know, read the word. And like I was sharing with you, God is so faithful. And then you start to, you, say, you know, like the word says that the Holy Spirit is a comforter. You know, you can speak the Holy Spirit. He gives love and all these things you read. I start to practice them. So like I was telling you, if I'm upset or if, I'm, if I feel like, you know, we're not understanding each other, I'll, I'll tell the Holy Spirit and I'll feel a word of comfort. Today when we're leaving the house, I actually got a word when the Holy Spirit was saying, um, others trust in God, others trust in silver, they trust in the Lord, you know, your victory will come. 